And so here we are, huh? And it's just not always the same, is it? Nah, don't worry about it. We're gonna make it something special, kid. Would I let you down? I mean, come on. After we've made so many sacrifices, I think we deserve some good luck. Some good times together. Don't you think? I mean, come on. If we stay like this and stay hopeful, it's bound to work out. <laughs> Can't go sulking now that we're out of that city. No, <laughs> I have to say, going on this train thing, that's not really my thing. <laughs> but you seem to be enjoying yourself. I'll bear with it. Maybe take out my frustration on teasing you. How's that sound? Win-win for both of us? That's what I was thinking, too. Not half bad, kid. You always know what to say to make me a little less... ashamed. And a little more emboldened. <laughs> kid, you should see the look on your face. It's priceless. I love it. Let me tell you. Ever since we got out of here, it's felt like an adventure. You can count me in. All these adventures we're gonna have together, and all the time I want to spend with you, it's... it's incredible. It's all thanks to you. Well, I did my part too, I think, but... it's all perspective at that point. You did what? When? All I care about is the here and now. And what's wrong with that? You know, you enjoy the here and now more anyways. We're together. You got your wish. Now, we just gotta stop them from killing us. <laughs> if they do send someone, might as well make it a show, right? Come on, you know your man would protect you. Or do you take me for one of those pushovers over there? Sorry, not sorry, but no one can compare to me. That's why you're mine, baby. That's why you're mine. <laughs> Today is all about us. I wouldn't want you to get any bad ideas, thinking that we're on the run. This is more like a vacation. Anyone who tries to get in our way, well, they're barking up the wrong tree. And let's just say we got wings, so... What are they gonna do to us? And you, you are looking cuter by the day, kid. It's amazing. You really are like my wings. My feather. Cute. Fun to pick up. Maybe fun to tickle your nose. <laughs> oh, come on now, kid. You give me the cold shoulder like that, and I'm just gonna want to pick on you. You should know this by now. What? Getting tired of me already? Well, can't have that, can we? That's why I got us this super nice place in the back of the train. By pulling a few legs. Or strings, if you want to go with the classic approach. But no, I like pulling legs more. That way, as they try and run, they fall flat on their face. You see, when someone owes me something, I can be pretty cutthroat about it. Mostly because I'm used to that kind of life. I'm not that cold. Even if sometimes people get on my nerves, I try not to let that happen. I mean, come on, what do you take me for? Some kind of heathen who's gonna stop at nothing to get the person he loves and steal them away from the world and... Oh, wait. I think we might be in trouble. The more I look at you, the more I'm feeling like that heathen. Oh no, you better stop me, or this monster of a man might be a little too close. <laughs> you, you're gonna kill me, kid, with how cute you are. I just can't get enough of it. It makes me feel so alive, and I just feel like I want to tease you more, but... I know I shouldn't do that in public places, because it draw attention and the whole assassins thing. Well, just in case, but... 
said I cared about that? I invite them to my doorstep. They can try and break us apart, but they're gonna fall flat on their face and, well, if they're lucky, they'll survive. Guess we'll have to wait and see, right? Right now, I'd like to get lost in your eyes. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, that's how it has to be, kid. We're renegades now. I don't mean outlaws, but it's not going to be easy for a little while. But I promise we'll get through it. As if I'd let anyone touch you, look at you funny. Hell no. They try one thing and they get the beak. <laughs> not going to lie, that sounded pretty lame. Don't worry about it, baby. I've got you. Why? Because I'm a scoundrel, and when I say I've got you, no one can get you. Because you're mine. Maybe I do gotta work on my pickup lines, but who's counting? You're still mine, aren't you, kid? And that's all that matters. Nothing else does. The world can do what it wants. It's gonna move on without us. We're gonna live our lives. Follow this train wherever it goes. Maybe follow a plane wherever it goes. Or a boat. Or these wings. <laughs> You're so cute when I get close. It's like you can't handle it. Am I over here? You're over here. You're such a cutie, you know that? I'm so glad you're mine. <laughs> What's wrong, kid? Don't like it when I tease too much? I happen to know that's a bull-faced lie. <laughs> you. You love every second of it, don't you? After all, how could you not? You're getting my time, which counts more for all those extras out there. Ugh, I sound like Bakugo. Ashamed of that one. Maybe not all the way. He might be on to something. <sighs> you ever get tired of me picking on you, calling you kid? What? You know exactly why. I like to poke fun at you. Not in the mean, nasty way, but... You understand? It's all just part of our quirky little relationship, eh? I know you're not actually a kid, but your reactions are too easy. What? You can't expect me to leave you alone on this. It's practically too easy. And way too fun. <laughs> Get a little closer now, my little feather. And I'll take care of every single thing. Just like I promised. I don't take this lightly, despite how people may say I'm laid back. It's quite the opposite. Especially now, of all times. As someone so much as scratches you, I feel like I'd be like a ravenous animal. I'd tear them up. And I wouldn't take my time with it either. I could, but then what if during that time... Someone else snatched you away. Or oh, you got afraid of me. No need to be brutal to be protective. Or I might just be a little bit. Here and there. <laughs> but you never minded that, did you, kid? You stuck with me even after finding out I'm a monster. Which is more than I can say anyone else ever did. You're special, kid. So special to me. So much that when I hold you, I quiver a little sometimes. And it's not because I'm afraid. It's because I'm afraid of what the world could do to you. You're way too innocent for it. And I know what you're thinking. You're a monster like me, right? Not quite, kid. Not quite. You may be a monster in certain circumstance. But we all are. 
Us humans like to delude ourselves into thinking we're not. But no matter where we go, no matter what we do, we always end up back at that crossroads of good and evil. And I feel like I've been there for a long time. If not for you, kid, I would be in a much worse state of mind. I think I would have lost my mind if I'm being honest. I'd be depressed, hateful, and oh so brutal, like I used to be. Nobody likes that. Nobody wants that. It's what I wanted, so I didn't have to feel. That's why I did it. It's like lashing out against the world. A world that didn't give me what I wanted. I wanted to be like my heroes. But they aren't always who they seem. I had to come to grips with that. I need to be better than them. Because I don't want to lose you. I don't just want you to fly away without me. Even if you got the wings tail. <laughs> Kid, you really know how to get under my skin in the best way. And that's why when I push you against the wall like this, you know I mean it in a good way, don't you? Even if I'm poking fun. Even if I'm kissing you. It's all for a good thing. It's all to share my passion with you. All because I love you so much. All because I want you so much. And because I'm never letting go. I don't know how to. So, guess you better hold on for a bumpy ride. <laughs> you wish I was talking about this train. Well, maybe in a certain sense. What's the matter, kid? Can't handle me. Getting shy now of all times. How shameless. Not that I blame you. Not at all. I like you when you're shameless. Let me tell you. It makes you kind of foxy. And that's saying something. Meow. <laughs> hey. You'll always be my feather, right? I'm not just gonna leave me high and dry. You promised before, so... I'm trusting you. With this glass heart of mine. Don't leave it. Don't break it. Please. That's a humble request from the man of your dreams. Ah, oh, come on, honey. You know how I like to tease. It's nothing personal, really. It's just how I say hello. <laughs> hello. It is so much fun, you know. I haven't felt this free in so long. You broke those shackles, I never could. I'm not saying something, kid. You're so special. So special, I get a little surprised every time. I see how into me you are. And trust me, you don't hide it too well, so I get to see all of that. <laughs> Don't worry. I love it. You know what makes my day every time? Every single time I think about it. Now that we're basically married, I'm gonna be a good husband to you. Even if I'm a bit teasing or insufferable at times, you'll deal with it, right? I don't think you have a choice in the matter now. Now that you ran away with me and made that promise, there's no getting away. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna spoil you. Trust me. That's the only thing I know how to do well is spoil people. What do you think I got all these riches for? You haven't seen inside these suitcases, so we'll just leave it at that. Let's just say they're a little green. And if you betray me and steal my money, I wouldn't even be mad, so... If you want to play that game of cat and mouse, you can count me in. Just don't be too mad when I steal your heart again after you betray me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
I know you wouldn't betray me. You don't have it in you, right? You've got a big, beautiful heart, and I can't stop loving it. And I can't get enough of you. Kid, you're everything I wanted. Everything I wanted from the very start. And I just look at you, and I see those eyes, and I see that perfectly perfect face. Don't judge me. I thought perfectly perfect was the best way to put it. And so what? You gonna judge me for it again, kid? You already judged me once. Why judge me twice? <laughs> Unless you're just trying to get a little revenge. Then... understandable. <laughs> <sighs> I really am hopelessly addicted to you. Do I regret it? Never. You know what, kid? I think you're crazy about me, too. Otherwise, why would you go on this crazy adventure with me? Maybe you're just insane. <laughs> but you're the kind of insane that comes once a lifetime. That kind of crazy enough that if this works out, you two could be really happy together. And that's the kind of crazy that makes me fall more in love with you, kid. All my teasing aside, all of my snarky comments and all of my... Guess that? Yeah, kisses are a thing. Something that needs to be more of a thing if you ask me. I could kiss you all day every day. And let me tell you, kid, no one does it like you. And I don't mean that in some kind of perverted way. Not by a long shot. No. You kiss from the heart. I wish I could say someone else in the whole wide world can understand it because maybe then, maybe if they had someone like you, the world would be a better place, right? And then again, my selfish ass says, fuck it. Better world at the cost of everyone getting a piece of uh, this kind of happiness and take all the special away from it. And I don't like the idea. I'd feel bad for them. Because no one can treat you like I can, baby. Absolutely no one. They think they can. And they always try. But I'm glad you're the only you. And I'm glad no one else in this world gets you. Because you're mine. You'll always be. Got it? That's just how it is, kid. Can't escape your destiny, right? And you're kind of married to me, so... I hope you don't mind a doting husband. One who happens to want you very, very much. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, kid. You really know how to make me feel alive. And I thought I was just gonna be one of those dead inside people as they grow older. Fuck that. I'm gonna live it up with you. I love you, kid. I love you something fierce. <laughs> and what's wrong with that? <laughs> you certainly don't lose anything from it. You gonna tell me how you don't like our time together? Because I could tell you a million reasons why that's a lie. Better yet, I could show you. Let's face it, babe. You're addicted to me. <laughs> oh, and the cutie strikes back. So, kid, if I'm so obsessed with you, then prove it. <laughs> I guess you caught me red-handed. Fine by me. I'm definitely not complaining. You always know what to say and do, don't you? Good thing it was so obvious, or I'd be a little scared that you'd get too into me that you'd lose yourself right here, right now. Too scared that my baby, my lovely little spouse, would have their true intentions spill out all over the floor, make a mess we can't pay for. <laughs> and again, that might not be true. 
I bet we could pay for any mess we make. So wanna make one. <laughs> you always know what to say, kid. I like that about you. Sometimes stuttering and not knowing what to say is the right choice. Go figure. And sometimes more. The right choice is just holding you in my arms like this. Telling you how I really feel. Deep down in my heart. Who knows where we'll end up. It doesn't matter, does it? You're mine and I'm yours. And that's all this world has to know about it. I'm your husband, and I'll sing it on the highest mountain. Though I don't fancy my singing voice, but... I'd try anything for you. You're lucky, kid. You get to see the best of me. And the worst of me, so... It might just be a little odd, but... I think what we have, it's the real deal. The real deal you only get once in a lifetime. I'm not going to squander any opportunity. Not a single one. <laughs> then again, you'd be silly to expect anything less of me at this point. My heart's all in, babe. I don't back down. What can I say? Your husband's a very stubborn one. And I don't intend to be like anyone else. No, you're going to get all of me. Because that's what I want. That's what you want, too. So don't beat around the bush. Give me all of you, too. No holding back now. There'd be no point in it. No truth in it. It'd be like walking without any purpose. And I'm all for wandering, don't get me wrong. But at some point, it might be nice to have a place to go, you know? A place... Or just you and I, kid. That's what I want. Where me and my feather can float along and go whenever we please. A home would be a nice change of pace. Would you like one too? After we've explored the entire world, been everywhere, we might as well do something grand like live at the top of a city or maybe at the top of a mountain. Go flying. Have ourselves some good times. Oh, come on. You know I'm only teasing you. I'd do it all for you in a heartbeat, but that doesn't mean it's the only plans, no. I've got a million plans just for you. Just for the two of us, kid. You deserve at least that much, don't you think? You stuck with me through it all, and I... I may just get a little playful with you, but I do love you more than anything. I wouldn't be on this train with you if I didn't want you with all my heart, all my body, all my soul. You know I'm passionate. At this point, you'd be a fool to think I wasn't. Passion is what makes me who I am. I've always chased what I believed in. Even if it got muddled along the way. Even if I was afraid of who I'd become. Even if I'm still thinking I'm a monster. You get my head out of my ass and I feel like I can do something. Hell. If not for you, kid. I don't think I would have ever gotten out of that pit. I would have been depressed without even really facing it. Till the day I died. So you saved me. Hope you know that's... that's a big deal to me. You might not see it, but... A lot of the change you brought into my life... It saved me from being just a... Slave to my missions. You convince yourself that... You have a purpose in life to make others... Happy. To make up... This big... Stupid lie in your head. That you justify your existence based on how others judge you. And figures. I was just as guilty of that as others. I spent my life living it for others, trying to be other people, trying to reach my heroes instead of reaching for something special to me. I didn't think I had that option. 
And what do you know? It took a dumbass kid right here. And a hell of a spouse. To change this particular husband. To realize there's more to him than that. To realize that I have a dream. And a heart. And feelings too, go figure. And that I can't just ignore it. No matter how much I want to seem cool for you, I gotta be real. And besides, we both know I'll be cool either way. <laughs> I love you, kid. And I hope I can be the best husband ever. You know, the type that makes all of your friends jealous. The type that everyone will wish they were with. That's the kind I want for you. The kind that makes people suck their teeth and wish they were you. Or wish they were me. Let me tell you, since I've met you, kid, you've been nothing but amazing. Trust me when I say anyone would be jealous of me. Maybe they're jealous of you, but I guess it goes both ways. More proof we're a perfect match, right? <laughs> You're cute when you're flustered. Every single time. I get used to it. And yet I never do. How could I get used to it? There's always a new, beautiful expression hiding right behind those eyes. What's that little mind of yours thinking? Because I bet you can tell what I'm thinking. If you guessed about you wanting even closer like this, <clears throat> that would be why I picked you up just like that. <laughs> you get cocky. I'll show you who's boss. <laughs> On second thought. Keep being as cocky as you like. I'm not done with you yet. <laughs> what? It's not like I'll ever get done with you. I don't know the word. Giving up. Especially not when it's with you. I'll never do it. So I guess you're stuck with me, kid. What a shame, right? Stuck with this beautiful man at your side, a husband who desires you so much more than anything in this world. You're just living a terrible life, eh? <laughs> I'm not saying it's all silver linings, but I am saying I'll be damned if I don't try and make it that. What, well, think I can? Of course I can. I can do anything I put my mind to. You doubt me, kid? Not a good stance to take. Everyone who's ever doubted me, well, they didn't get what they wanted. <laughs> or maybe they did. Maybe they doubted me knowing I'd get stronger, knowing I wouldn't give up, knowing I don't know when to quit. Probably. But who cares about that now? You're mine, kid. And I'm your faithful husband. No matter when it is. No matter where. I want everything. It has to do with you. All I want is you to haunt my every dream my every thought. <laughs> Though I guess you don't need to try very much. Because you already do. I've never felt this alive. I've never felt this passionate. I've never felt this way. <laughs> or anything that resembles it even a little. And look at you. Making me feel so much. I could get used to this kid. Damn, I love you. Now, if you'll pardon me, your husband has some plans for you. 
I did say it would be a bumpy ride, didn't I? Give you fair warning. Mm. I do so love holding you in my arms, you know. Maybe it seems like I don't or something. Maybe I'm easily misunderstood, but actions be gladder, don't they? That's why I hold you here until time stops. I'll give you everything you need, but I also have needs of my own. I need to hear you breathing beside me. I need to see that smile. God, I live for that smile. I live for that smile every day of my life. Fucking hell. I wouldn't know what to do without it. Come on, kid. This is the best part, just holding you, convincing myself it's real, that you're going to be here with me. Sometimes it's easier than other times, I'll give you that. And other times I get a little doubtful. I think who'd want to be with a monster like me? And then I realize we're both vaulted, but that's good. Those vaults of ours. They make us special, unlike those plastic people you see on TV. That's not us. That'll never be us. And good riddance. All I want today is just more of you. I don't care what we do. Truth be told, I'm happy doing anything with you. I live for it. Holding you in my arms like this, it's my dreams come true. You really are. Like an angel, you know that. You're my feather. My baby. And you can sometimes be a kid about things. But I don't mind that. And if anything, it just means you're more mine. And I like that. Makes me feel special to be able to be the only one who holds you like this. Maybe there's people okay with all that poly stuff. And then I'd like to keep it between you and me. Not because I'm insecure, no. I know I'd win the top husband spot. But I couldn't bear to see someone else with you at all. I just want you in my arms for the rest of forever. I want you to melt into me just like that. I want to see those glistening eyes of yours looking back at me, those lips pressed against mine. I want to see you smile like you truly mean it. And see those lovely goals of yours, those dreams have come true, each and every one of them. But you already knew that. You know how hopelessly in love I am with you. So why even bother saying that much? You should know more than anyone. I may be crazy for you, but you're just as crazy about me. Let's face it, I get this feeling, no matter how many times we could redo things, even if we could rewind it all back, we'd end up right here, happier in each other's arms. And you'd land yourself the best husband in the world, let me tell you. And I'd land myself the most beautiful spouse I could ever dream of, the love of my life. You know, I live for this. <laughs> I may seem like I'm cocky and like I have everything. But it all doesn't matter if it doesn't have you. I live because... I have a future beyond a mission. I have someone who appreciates me for me. And who might just be a little monster too. <laughs> you brought that kiss on yourself. 
And I'm glad you did. Hell yes, I'm glad you did. Because I'd be lost without you. I'd be wandering this life without a care in the world, but with apathy strangling me. You saved me, babe. You saved me like no one else could. And I love you so 